What's going on everybody and welcome to part two of the updated Python 3 basic series. In this video, I'd like to talk about variables, tuples, strings, and loops all in one go. Let's get started. So first of all, uh, I'm going to make a new directory. I'm just going to call this tutorials. Then I'm going to open up Sublime here and I'm just going to do a file save as. We're going to save it to that tutorials here and I'm just gonna say uh, tutorial 2.py I'm gonna try to save these in parts that way later on when things we have actual uh, thicker code I can share it um, on Python programming.net uh, this one probably you're not gonna need the source code for but eventually to you might want it just in case you can't figure out what's different so um, so first of all let's talk about variables so a variable is just anything that is a variable is everything in Python is an object and a, a variable is just a a word representation basically of that object so for example we're gonna have a variable called programming underscore languages now variables have a certain have certain rules associated with them you can't start a variable with a number but you can have a number in a variable like programming one equals some sort of thing um, you can have underscores and so on. Uh, you, you can't have like a string be a variable or something like that. And obviously since you can't start with a number, you also can't have like an integer um, as, a, as a variable's uh, you know, uh, name. But programming language is a variable. So to define a variable, you use the uh, assignment operator, not to be confused with a double equals which is a question of you know does this thing equal this other thing more on that later but you use a single equals um, and then we can pass something um, like the following so the reason why we're covering tuples now is it just is going to make sense to cover tuples now I mostly actually just want to show you guys how simple Python is both to write uh, and read and this is why I fell in love with Python to start. So programming languages equals Python, Java, C++, C. I think anybody can look at this and understand. Um, oh, okay, I get it. It's a list of uh, Python, or it's a list of programming languages. Unfortunately, in Python, it's actually not a list. And if you're ever curious to find out what is this thing I'm dealing with, you can use a uh, the built-in. Oops the built-in type. So you could say type programming languages like this. Um, since Sublime might be new to some people, uh, that was a tab complete. So programming languages, and then you can see it made a little suggestion. I hit tab, done. So that's how you can get what what is the type of variable, of the, like what is the object's type? So if you wanted to output that, well, we already saw a print before, so we could just print type in languages. So let's go ahead and run that. So again, control B. Um, I just restarted this machine, so I'll pick Python. Eventually we'll set that as a, uh, a default, but for now, uh, class is tuple. So this is actually a tuple. Uh, so generally you'll hear lists and tuples. Later we will cover lists, uh, but for now it's not necessary. And the purpose of this tutorial, my goal here is to just cover what we need, uh, because this is really the way you're going to learn to program. You're not going to learn, you know, this fundamental thing and this fundamental thing. That, no, you're going to try to solve a problem and on your way of solving that problem, you're going to learn new things along the way, use the things that you know, and use Google and a, a lovely, lovely website called Stack Overflow and maybe even some Reddit in there or you can come into certain chats like ours is discord.gg slash syntax, all that kind of stuff. Um, you, that's how you actually learn. So right now we don't need lists. I'm not going to cover lists. My, my goal here is to show you guys how simple Python can be. So we know it to be a tuple. The reason why it's a tuple, uh, to define a tuple, either you could do something like this, where it's just a thing, comma, a thing, comma, a thing, or object, comma, object, comma, object, or you could encase it in um, parentheses like this. So if we do this, nothing has changed. So just to prove that to you, let me just put these back. We run this again, and you can see it's still class tuple. Nothing has changed. But to make it pretty and easy to read, I'm going to remove those. Um, and now let's talk about a final thing, a loop. 
In this case, I'm going to use a for loop, uh, just because, again, uh, it's going to be a little easier to read than a while loop. At some point, we probably will cover a while loop. I just don't need it right now. So if we wanted to, like, imagine if you want to just dictate how you would how you would go over this. You would say, you know, for each of these, let's, you know, maybe output them in some way. So we know print to output. So it's you just using natural language. We would say, you know, for each of the languages in programming language, print the language right? <laughs> or something like that. So so what you could say is literally for language. And so language becomes this little temporary variable here. So for language in programming languages, colon, and then enter, because we're going to start a new code block underneath this for. So anytime you've got, you know, the definition of a function or a for loop, a while loop, uh, later on we'll do some if statements, stuff like that. If something is the case, colon, new line, and then you'll see that the editor just automatically tabbed it over for me. Um, also, let's talk about tabs really quick. I see um, that it has given me a silly tab. Uh, that's a mistake. Uh, let me see if I can fix that right away. Um, convert. Okay, great. So if everybody's following along, uh, and, and no matter what editor you're in, let's make this absolutely essential change immediately. So as I highlight this, I can see it's just one big line. That means it's a tab. The problem with this is you obviously don't want to just pound your spacebar four times, but a tab should always be four spaces. And the reason why is as you upload this maybe to GitHub or share it with your friend who uses a different editor, they might open it up and their settings might be totally different from your settings. And then suddenly the, the tabs are the way that you sent them. And then they start adding things. And then suddenly they don't me mesh. You've got some tabs, some spaces, and it, it just goes, um, goes down very quickly. So I'm just going to left click on this. Uh, I do want it to be four. Google likes two, but most of the world uh, accepts four spaces. So we'll keep with four. And then I'm going to say convert indentation to spaces. So hopefully now you'll see dot, dot, dot. That's what you want. <laughs> anyway, for language in programming languages, let's go ahead and just print the language. Control B to run it, boom. We've iterated now over this. We would initially wa want to call this a list, but in programming terms, it's actually a tuple. Um, the differentiating factor of a tuple is it's immutable, meaning you can't change it, you can't add to it, you're not going to remove from it. So if it's a thing that you intend to not be changed in your program, should you maybe accidentally you know, run something that might affect it, um, you can't do it. Whereas a list can be, things can be deleted and popped and added or appended and so on. So anyways, uh, later on we, we'll see some uh, slightly more tricky reasons why there's a a differentiation between these. Just for now, know that at any point you can always do a type. Um, also, since I wanted to last time, I'm going to right click here and pin to taskbar. So uh, just to, to really drive it home again, I, I know I brought it up before, but don't forget about the Python 3 docs. So Python 3 tuple, hopefully one of the top results will be docs and Python 3.3.7. Um, unfortunately, Google's not the best at uh, indexing, you know, the newest, greatest language. Um, but that's okay, because tuples really haven't changed much. Uh, and you can probably just come up here and edit this. Uh, so rather than 3.3, let's try 3.7. See if we get away with that. Yes. Uh, so you can see, first of all, we've talked about lists, but we haven't done anything with lists. But you can see right here, um, they've got just a ton of things. These are all the little methods that you can use on a list. Again, that doesn't need to make any sense to you right now. We'll talk about that as it comes up. Um, but uh, here, hopefully, I'm hoping they're going to do a, a slightly more. I'm guessing at some point they go a little more in depth into what exactly tuples are, but it says, OK, it starts here. So so yeah, you could definitely read up on this, learn more about tuples if you're a little confused or you want to just learn more. Um, or not. If you don't really care to learn any more than where we are right now, that's totally fine too, because we're going to just try to use Python to solve actual problems, not try to learn everything in the atmosphere that is uh, <laughs> Python and all that. So anyways, uh, I think I'm going to stop it here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to actually start our overarching objective, uh, which will be to make a simple uh, text-based tic-tac-toe game in Python, which actually will should let us cover 
pretty much all of the principles of Python I think you need before you can get out of the basics and start doing things that actually interest you. So that's all for now. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. You can also come join our Discord server. That's uh, You can just go to any old browser and discord.gg slash Sentex should give you the invite. Uh, you'll need an account and all that. But anyways, yeah, you can come and join our server. And we have a help channel. So if you're having any problems, come in there uh, and ask for help. So anyways, that's it for now. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Uh, if you like the content, give it a subscribe, thumbs up. If you didn't like the content, thumbs down. And if you would be so kind, tell me why the thumbs down. So that's it for now. I will see you guys in the next video.